In this presentation, I am going to discuss Roulet wheel simulation using free Pascal programming known as Monte Carlo simulation. Roulet wheel has 37 slots from 0 to 36 both inclusive. The simulation process involves generating a random number. Each random number generated will represent one spin of the wheel with small ball landing in the slot with that number. I am going to make use of random function provided by Pascal to generate the random numbers. I will first talk about problems that I am going to experiment with. What are the expected results for those problems? Run the simulation, generate the actual result and then compare the actual result with the expected. Events. The first event is when I spin a roulette for a governed number of times, how often a number appears twice in consecutive spins. Second event is if I spin the roulette for a given number of times, then how often on an average the number appears thrice in consecutive spins. Third event is how many spins does it take for a lucky number say 13 to appear consecutively twice. Fourth event is what if I spin a roulette for a given number of times, then what is the longest run of odd numbers in all that spins? And the fifth event is, if I spin the roulette for a given number of times, then what is the longest run of uh, events? Note that 0 is not an even number. And now I will discuss what are the expected results for each of these events based upon the law of large numbers. So let's take the first event. On average, how often a number is repeated twice in a row for a given number of spins? For a fair roulette, each spin is independent of other spins. Meaning if we spin the roulette once, the chance of getting a number is 1 by 37. And if I spin the roulette again, the chance of getting a given number still remains the same that is 1 by 37. Which means the second spin is independent of the first one. The probability that we get a number in a spin and then again get the same number in the next spin is the multiplication of the probability of the two events that is 1 by 37 into 1 by 37 that is 0 0.00073. Note that it is e raised to minus 4. Similarly, the expected value of the second event can be calculated. The probability of getting a number 3 times in a row is 1 by 37 into 1 by 37 into 1 by 37 that is 0 0.000019 note that it is e raised to minus 5 the third event is how long does it takes for a lucky number say 13 to appear consecutively in a row which means how many times the roulette wheel must be spinned until that number 13 turns up twice in a row when we start spinning we expect on average 37 spins until a number 13 shows up once that happens there is one by 37 chance that we will spin once more and five by six chance that we will be effectively starting all over again and so have an additional expected spins as when we started as a result we can say that expected value of the spin by which we receive the number 13 consecutively e would be 37 e is equal to 37 plus 1 by 37 plus 36 by 37 into e plus 1. If I solve this equation I get e is equal to 1406. That means on an average after 1406 spins I'm expected to have consecutive 30. Now I will discuss what is the theory behind expected value of the longest run of odd numbers. In a roulette wheel, there are 37 numbers from 0 to 36. 0 is not considered an even number. So the probability of an odd or an even number for roulette is, is half. And if I spin the wheel n times, the rule of thumb says that the expected length of the longest run of a number is minus log n in 
into 1 minus p divided by log p where n is a very large number and p is the probability of success here the probability of success is half so using this equation a longest run of odd number is minus log 0.5 into n divided by log 0.5 if i use this formula to derive the expected value for different number of spins then i get for 1 million spins the longest run of odd numbers will be around 18 for 10 million it will be 23 for 100 million around 26 for 1 billion around 29 for 5 billion around 32 and for 10 billion around 33 and so on also the standard deviation is 1 by log 0.5 with 95% confidence interval. On calculating the standard deviation is plus or minus 3. This means that 95% of the actual results could deviate from the expected result by plus or minus 3. expected value of the longest run of even numbers as the probability of even number is same as the probability of all number that is half the expected value for the longest run of even numbers will be same as that of the expected value of all numbers discussed in the previous event In this slide, I will discuss my experience with Pascal programming and some of the challenges that I faced while doing this experiment and writing the Pascal program. I got some issues while writing Pascal program. I got to know the difference between the for loop and while. Uh, initially, the for loop was running out for large numbers, but uh, then I changed it to while loop, then it worked. I am familiar with other programming languages like C and PLSQL, so I was easily able to correlate the Pascal program with the C program as far as the syntax goes. The language is very easy to understand and learn. Also, I noted that Pascal is very powerful and very fast. I have almost done more than 1000 simulations and each simulation would be generating a random number of between 100 million and 1 billion times by the fast performance of Pascal. Problem 1. How often a number appears twice in a row? In this problem, the input to the program is the number of spins. I coded the program such that it returns the number of times any number has been repeated twice in a row. So for example, input to the program is 1 billion. Then the program returned output as 731,000. Then next I take the average of the output. So with the input of uh, 1 billion, the average of how often a number is repeated consecutively is 0 0.000731. In this way, I ran my program or the data point ranging from 20 spins to all the way up to 20 billion. For each of data point, the value of the average has been plotted in this graph on the y-axis. As shown in the graph, it looks that the value varies a lot initially however when the number of spins or the input become large enough actual value obtained started matching with the expected value note that almost after 10 million number of spins actual value obtained is about 0 0.00073 which is exactly same as what is the expected value of 0 0.007305 Event 2 to determine on an average number of times a number is repeated three times in a row. In this problem, I gave number of times as an input to the program and it generated output as number of times a number is repeated three times in a row. This experiment is very similar to the previous problem. When the input to the program is 1 billion, the output return is 21. 1900 so on an average the number of times a number is repeated three times in a row is 2.19 e power minus 5 in this way i simulated for number of spins or the data points ranging all the way from 10 to 20 billion 
this data points are shown on the x-axis. The y-axis represents average of the output. As shown in the graph, outcome varied initially. However, after 100 million, the output started closely matching to the expected value of 0 0.00002. Uh, problem 3. The number of spins it takes for the lucky number 13 to appear consecutively in a row. In this problem, I coded my program such that input is the number of spins. Say input to the program is 1 billion. The program is coded such that it stops when it uh, returns a consecutive 13 in a row. For each data point, I run this program 25 times and I get value which is quite varies with each other. Then I took average of all these 25 runs for that single input value of 1 billion and I get an average value. In this way I get one point as shown in this chart. In this way I run my program for number of times varying between 20 spins to all the way up to 20 billion and at each spin say for example 1 million i have run that program for 25 times so in all this in this problem number of times i have run a program has been maximum and then i finally get this chart as we see in this chart x-axis represents the number of spins and a y-axis represents the average of number of spins it takes for consecutive 13. As you see in the graph, green line shows expected value. Note that the expected value from our calculations was 1406, which is represented by line, while brown line represents actual value as obtained from the simulation. Note that if I draw a line in center of brown points, it almost matches to what is represented by the green line. This was a very interesting problem and a simulation. Even for the longest run of odd numbers. In this simulation, I wrote the Pascal program such that the input is the number of spins and output is longest run of odd numbers in that many spins. Say for example, for an input value of 1 billion, the program returned the output as 28. That means the longest run of odd numbers was 28. In this way, I ran the program for value ranging from 20 to odd the way 20 billion and noted the output the longest run of odd numbers at each of these data points then i plotted this graph using the x-axis representing the number of spins that means the data points and y-axis representing output that means the longest run of odd numbers as you see in the graph green line shows expected value which is derived from the probability calculations and the blue value shows the actual value as obtained from running the program. As we see, there is much similarity between what value is obtained from the program and the expected value. Event 5, the longest run of even numbers. This simulation is exactly same as the previous simulation with the difference of determining what are odd numbers versus what are even numbers. In this simulation, important element was to not consider 0 as an even number. Process by which the graph is obtained is uh, same from the number of times ranging from 10 to 20 billion and the output, that means the longest run of even numbers was obtained at each run of the program then this graph was plotted as shown in the graph blue value is result of the program and the green value is the expected value from the probability calculations we see that the value of the program fluctuates within the standard deviation as explained during the probability calculations 
conclusion all the events and the observation have certain expected outcomes the small number of observations of independent event might not coincide with the expected outcome however when number becomes large or very large then the expected outcome matches to what is expected this results confirm with the law of large numbers theorem also the conclusion is that the random number generator function used for generating the results in pascal is unbiased as the number becomes large actual outcome will match to the expected values this is known as the law of large numbers as five problems introduced to the great concept of law of large numbers is an interesting area and would like to learn more such laws regarding the numbers i would also like to apply theorem for different examples of a soccer game dice game and other probability events is a very interesting area i would further like to research on